today we will cover a topic that comes under nursing research and statistics that is an important topic that is known as the <coughs> research design research design it is an overall uh, tool or the method uh, that is uh, needed in the research process to give an answer for the research question or the problem so that is a vital part uh, mainly to test the hypothesis uh, here research design <coughs> we can generally divide it into two quantitative research design and qualitative research design quantitative uh, in the research uh, process there will be a systematic uh, uh, process by doing with a, a numerical data then it is known as the quantitative qualitative without using the numerical data that is known as the qualitative in the quantitative data uh, quantitative research design mainly divided into three one is uh, uh, experimental research design second one is descriptive research design and third one is quasi experimental research design and other other research design is qualitative qualitative mainly comes under phenomenological research design ethnographic case studies historical uh, these are the some type of qualitative research design so today in our class we will see the topic of experimental research design so what the, what is meant by experimental research design experimental research design it is a powerful uh, uh, powerful tool in our research process uh, this will uh, mainly test the uh, research hypothesis and identify the cost effect relationship mainly the uh, independent variable and the dependent variable uh, and this will give an accurate uh, result of the uh, research so here we will see what are the uh, characteristics of experimental research design characteristics of experimental uh, research design mainly it will uh, uh, give the observations uh, under the uh, control so we can uh, find out uh, observation how we are giving the treatment what is the effect of the treatment okay after giving the treatment what are the changes that happen in the subject that we can identify and the next one is here uh, mainly uh, three uh, concept is there one is the uh, randomization control and uh, 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 randomization uh, con uh, uh, control and manipulation so what is mean by manipulation manipulation means uh, if we are giving a treatment for the uh, samples that is known as the manipulation treatment or intervention if we are giving then it is known as the manipulation control some group we will not give any treatment to see the effectiveness uh, of the research uh, we will uh, give it as a hidden group that is known as the control group and uh, third one is randomization so randomization mainly will go with uh, uh, equal chance of giving the subject equal opportunity will give for the subject that is known as the randomization randomization like a lottery method uh, flipping of the coin method or random table method any table any type we can choose the uh, select the sample so we can easily remember like mcr manipulation control randomization this uh, three is very much essential in the experimental uh, design uh, then next one is uh, uh, there we can see the uh, changes what happen when we are giving manipulation in the independent variable there will be a, uh, effect for the uh, dependent variable changes in the different dependent variable and causes and effect relationship can be assessed and we can test the hypothesis so these are the major characteristics of the experimental design so we will see what are the types of experimental design so in the uh, experimental design mainly uh, here uh, uh, if you see mainly uh, uh, we can divide as a uh, uh, true experimental design that is otherwise known as the basic design the next one is pre experimental design so in the true experiment design mainly i told no three characteristic that is manipulation control randomization will be present in the true experimental or basic experimental design so we will be we will be seeing one by one first one is post test only design post test only design here randomly uh, we have to take the two groups so randomly two groups has to be taken and in the first group uh, we, we will be giving the treatment then as post test observation second group randomly selected no treatment then next observation here pre test is not there as a result it is known as post test only design then second one is pre test post test uh, design in the pre test post test design two uh, uh, groups will be there one is experimental group another one is control group in the first group randomly uh, samples will be selected pre test will be conducted uh, then next uh, treatment or manipulation 
uh, will be done then next observation in the second group randomly uh, uh, samples will be selected pretest will be done but uh, uh, here uh, no intervention that is a control group then post test then effectiveness of pre and post test will be assessed that is known as the pre uh, pre and post test uh, research design next one is solomon four group uh, design in the solomon four group designs uh, four groups will be there so here uh, population will be uh, larger and mostly in our medical field less uh, 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 studies are done by the solomon four group design here two groups uh, uh, first two groups that is the uh, pre test will be done then next uh, uh, intervention post test second group uh, uh, here pre test no uh, intervention post test control group third group no pre test intervention post uh, test fourth group no intervention no treatment then next uh, post test so like that four uh, uh, groups will be there uh, in the first set of group pre test post test will be there second set of group no pre test only post test and we can compare any pre test uh, thread or mistakes is there we can uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, anything that is interfering with the research we can easily identified by this follow and four group design the next one is factorial design so that there, there is uh, the, the researchers will do more than uh, treatment in more than one factors more than uh, two factors here uh, two factor design is uh, more common where we can test the hypothesis testing multiple hypothesis can be test in the uh, factorial design like uh, level of uh, distractions so level of uh, attention so uh, or uh, uh, pain and uh, level of distraction so like that one experiment uh, with two factors we are identifying factorial designs can be done uh, next one is uh, randomized block design randomized block design first we have to select the groups in a randomized manner after uh, randomization next we can uh, go with the uh, experimental or intervention so randomization block always homogeneity will be there homogeneity same group if sex we are taking sex in a same a male female like, like that it should be there uh, for an example we can uh, tell we are going with the treatment of medication hypertension medication so three groups we can tell hypertensive only patient hypertensive with di uh, diabetic mellitus hypertensive uh, with the cardiac disease so three homogeneous group in that uh, the medicines will be treated uh, that uh, is known as the randomized block uh, design then next one is crossover design crossover design it is a repeated measures uh, design one uh, experimental group one group can be uh, give treatment more than one time that is known as the uh, crossover or uh, repeated measures uh, design the next one is latin square design latin square design uh, one row one column wise we can uh, put it in a statistical manner so one measures will come in one row one measures will come in another row then uh, uh, observation can be done so more uh, uh, experiment can be done more uh, time of uh, interventions in uh, more variables one or two factors so that is known as the latin square uh, design so these are the basic uh, fundamental uh, uh, research design uh, that is otherwise known as true experimental design another one is pre experimental design pre experimental design first one is one shot case uh, one shot case uh, research design so in this one shot uh, research design uh, here uh, no randomization only uh, uh, the groups will be selected intervention will be given then observation can be assessed another one is a one group pre test design uh, here uh, one group pre test design no randomization one group will be the no control group treatment then observation will be analyzed then next one is static group design in static group design here uh, uh, no uh, there will be selecting no pre test only the uh, post test will be there and observation will be uh, done uh, with the first group and the second group you know no need of randomized assigned group so these are the uh, designs that comes under the pre experimental uh, design next we will see what is the uh, process uh, experimental design what is the process step by step it is systematic way no so first what we have to we have to know what is our research what is the problem of the research what is the hypothesis so which hypothesis has to be tested what is the variable what is the independent variable what is the dependent variable what research design we want to do we have to uh, we have to decide according to our uh, uh, research then we have to uh, go with our target population what sampling technique we are using then directly we can do the research after the research design implementation uh, we can do the research and we can go with the statistical analysis and find out what is the result of the research 
so uh, what is the nursing uh, res or das research and our role uh, very neatly we should understand about the research design and which research design is suitable for whatever uh, research topic we are selecting then we can implement better result and this uh, research is very much essential for evidence based practice and research utilization so uh, today class we have seen about uh, uh, research design types of research design mainly the experimental design uh, what is the characteristics and what are the types of experimental research design that is basic uh, experimental design and uh, pre-experimental design. So, I am signing off Mrs. Mima. So, next video we will meet again. Thank you.